Okay, I'm here with Lori and Kevin, and we're getting ready to do, um, they're going to show me around their Escape uh, fifth wheeler. It's in uh, 2020, so let them talk about I'm going to let Kevin do the outside, and then Lori's, Lori's going to do the inside. So let's check it out see how it looks. Well, this is a 2020 Escape 5.0 TA trailer. It's uh, one of the, the later 2020 models that was built. We got it in uh, January of 2021. So this is our second full season of camping with it. Okay. It is, uh, overall length is 21 feet 4 inches. And uh, it's obviously a fifth wheel camper, so we have the hitch in the bed. Of the truck. It's just right. Well, on the front here, got two 20 pound propane storage lift tanks. Okay. In that compartment. And then, okay. Uh, the upper compartment is all storage uh -huh. area. Got a lot of good storage space. So, yeah, it, it works pretty good, and originally the storage area was only as wide as the as the opening here. Okay. And uh, this year I, I did expand it and added some shelving. So okay. So I got almost the full width of the front of the trailer. Right. Well, that's cool. Storage. And then, of course, down here is the, uh, the electric jacks. Right. So the jacks are both electric, huh? Yeah, both electric. And then uh, they've got a manual override, so if I need to use a hand crank, I just put uh, I just put a hole in the, the bottom of the shelf there so that I can put my crank right down, straight down through. And okay. If I have to manually crank them, I can, I can access it like that. Uh. So that's the outside storage. Of course, we've got the manual awning. There is an option for uh, an electric awning. Right. We, uh, we chose to go with the manual one. We do have the awning windows, which the standard is a slider window. So They're tinted. Are those windows tinted? They are tinted, yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's an upgrade from the standard one. Okay. So far. What other extras do you have outside? The extras outside? Yeah. Uh, the windows, obviously, the, uh, the two-step step is an option. Okay. We also have the, uh, the lift kit in it, which raises the trailer about two and a half inches. Yeah, I notice it's pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, we need it a little high to, to Put your truck. pitch up and stay level on the truck. Okay. The trucks are so high in the morning. So that's a two inch lift kit? Yeah, or two and a half, I think. Well, it'll give you yeah. space because on, on my scamp, you, you play hell getting the tire to come out from the wheel well because it's so tight there. Oh, really? Yeah, you really do. And uh, these outside doors, what are, like this one right here above the tire, what are they for? This is a uh, outside water access or outside shower. Okay. There's a quick connect here you can hook your hose right to okay. cold water. So if we, uh, if we set up our table here, we can have outdoor food prep and have running water. Okay. So that, yeah, that was an optional. And uh, the access hatch there was okay what is that a light up there this is uh the led strip oh okay yeah. i got you yeah that was an option and then that's the standard light okay the porch light there you know and you got the outside receptacle right there to the left of your tire that's an ac receptacle right this is, yeah this is standard okay that's handy to have it i mean if you're cooking electric outside or something like that it's real handy to have well run me around to the other side and show me that okay i never knew how a fifth wheel 
how you backed one up. Now I know. That thing's got a good shine on it. It really does. It really does. Yeah, they have a, a nice gel coat on this. And you, what do you use to gel coat it? Well, I, I use the Meguiar's Marine Wax. Okay. To wax it. And uh, well, they have a polished product as well. Yeah. I try to keep it waxed. Yeah, I, I try to do mine about at least once a year. So you don't, because when it starts getting chalky, it's almost, you know, it's pretty hard to get it back to having a nice yeah. gloss coat on it, so. And we, uh, we store it under a carport. Oh, do you? Yeah, so that helps a lot to keep it out of the direct sunlight. Have you ever had any leaks whatsoever? No. I had one small leak around my air condition, but I store mine out well, it stays outside because I stay outside, so, yeah. Okay, so you got another. This is another. Uh, got locks on it. Oh yeah, they lock. It's another little storage area. Okay. And then I've got uh, this is the controls for my power jacks are right in here. Okay. And then uh, the DC to DC charger for the lithium. Okay, so you installed. have lithium batteries? Yeah. We have they don't come standard with it, do they? They do now. They did not when this was new, so I, I added the lithium batteries. How many lithium batteries do you have? Right now I have three. And what size are they? They're the, the 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. So you got 300? Yeah, Battleborn's a good brand name. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with them. And, uh, you know, we've talked with the factory people and they've been extremely helpful. Will it run the whole camper? It will not run the air conditioner. Right. But uh, we've run our little microwave with it. We have a, a coffee maker, electric coffee maker that we use. So you basically have 300 watts, correct? Uh, well, we have a. It's a. We have an inverter. Oh, okay. 1500 watts. Okay, so yeah, because so the coffee pot usually starts about 550. Yeah, so we can run. We can run the coffee pot, we can run the microwave, but we really can't run the two together. Right. One yeah. I melted my box and my scamp doing that. Really? I, I had my coffee maker and then the, the heater cut on, and the wiring's not heavy enough, and it just it went straight back to the box and melted the box. And it, I'm talking about the breaker box. It just oh it melted it. Had to be, I had to, a buddy of mine replace it out in New Mexico, but yeah. Okay. So we don't really store too much in here. Right. So, and there's a, this is a standard light as well. We've got okay. The, the gray and the black water dumps here. What size tanks does this have? I think does this have? The, uh, the fresh and the gray tanks are 28 gallon. And okay. The black tank is 30. How much water will it carry? Uh, 20, 28. Okay. Wow. That's pretty good. I've never had to um, use a, the septic line before, so I don't don't know a whole lot about them. <clears throat> Is it pretty simple to hook up and unhook up and all that? Is that pretty simple to it's do? It's pretty simple. We we don't camp with full hookups very often, so this, right. is, this is kind of a luxury. Oh, yeah, you do have full hookups, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have the sewer hookup here. But yeah, that's, the hole is just... And you got enough clearance. See, I've noticed on a lot of the casitas, it's so low, I wonder if it gets ripped off, you know, if they go off-road camping or whatever, because, you know, oh, yeah. the, yeah, the pipes are so... I met a dude out in uh, New Mexico again, and he... Uh, he got a lift kit for his to get it up to get him off the ground because it was so low to the ground. I guess that's for the the furnace and the. This is the furnace vent here. Okay. Which uh, this is handy because uh, with a, uh, if you know anything about furnaces and sail switches, you know that they've got to be tinkered with and replaced for or cleaned and mine went bad yeah so but this this panel comes off and you can access the uh the sail switch okay and uh 
the electronic card pretty okay. easily. And right what's that behind it? Behind all this? Yeah, what's that? This is uh, this is the refrigerator vent. So we have oh, okay. wow. got uh, six cubic foot absorption refrigerator and freezer. So it runs off AC, DC, or propane. Now, do you have to automatically do it yourself, or does it automatically switch from propane to if it's electric or auto, it will select between AC and or propane. It will, it will okay. detect if there's incoming power. If you want to run on DC, you have to manually select that. Do you actually run the refrigerator when you're going down the road, running on propane? Uh, not not normally. We have done it. We have run it on DC a few times. Right. But uh, normally we put some cold packs in. The, refrigerator and okay pretty cold it, it seems to work yeah because I've, I've heard different stories about running down the road with the refrigerator on propane it's not I mean some people have had problems so that's why I asked about that but yeah. that's a good size refrigerator though and what's that last vent right there this is the water heater. your water heater that's the water heater okay and this is uh Oh, there you go. This is a combination electric and propane, so it's got a little on-off switch right there for okay. the electric. And yes. then the, the propane is here. Okay. And, uh, it, it works very well for us. Cool. And then you got your water hookups. Yeah, city water and then uh, the fresh water tank filler right here. Okay. I like that plug style because my plug, yeah. you push it in. Where that plug, you just hook it right there and then go to the uh, yeah, this pole. Was, this was an upgrade. Okay. Their, their standard is like you say, where you pull the cord out. I I don't care for that much, you know, because when the cord is cold, trying to get it back in there, a stiff cord, it really doesn't work real good. So I've thought about upgrading it to that, but. I just have to see how it goes if I get back to Minnesota. What are those two pipes blow for? These are uh, storage for the sewer holes. Oh, okay. The sewer holes, they come with one, and we asked for a second one. So okay. They installed a second one for us. So right now we just have two uh, sewer tubes in them. But if, say, if we wanted to store an antenna or, or roll up a carpet or something, we could right. put a second one. That that's a good idea yeah and yeah, your AC yeah. what size is your AC up there it's a uh, it's a uh, Dometic uh, I think it's 11,000 BTU wow air conditioner and that's uh, it's a Dometic yeah you know believe it or not they put 13 fives and scamps and it'll it'll chill you out of that it's almost like an ice box if you run it I don't I've never really used mine you got solar panels on the roof up there right we have a single solar panel what size is that solar power that's 190 watts 190 watts yeah does it tilt or does it is it stationary it does not. no it does not now we have uh, we have a, a port that we can plug in a ground Panel. Right. And we've done that a few times. Portable panels, yeah, fold got, ups. We've got uh, 20 plus feet of cable for that that we can set it in the sun and tilt that. If yeah, we to. okay. Well, it's pretty good outside showing, so let me get Lori and go inside and check that out. I appreciate you taking time to do that. Sure. Getting ready to go on the inside, and Lori's going to show us a inside view of their campus so let's go in there and check it out got two steps you go up i think i can handle that without breaking my neck oh you got oh wood interior that is pretty they had the original was oak and they this is maple okay and they now have a white interior that's a modern i wouldn't want a white in i like this that's pretty that is really I'm not just saying that's really pretty. Mine was real dark. Yes. It, that dark press board, I sanded it all down and primed it and painted it like a steel blue. That would and be and nice. yeah, because 
when you have a dark camper it makes it look so dark yes it does and an option was the, the counters we could they had several things and we could pick what counter we wanted the trim and the flooring and then the fabric for the for the benches and if you didn't like what they had you could get your own and send it to them and they would install it really yeah that's, well, that's pretty cool yep. and you got what kind of stove we got here um this is a Dometic three burner propane stove with an oven that's, a, oh really you got an oven too yes and i i actually use the oven quite a bit i'm a baker i love baking and you can get just a stove top right or nothing you can get a convection microwave under okay here if you want and you have a choice of getting a uh, built-in microwave here okay uh, we didn't do we just had them wire it right I bought a little one and then i shove it back and i can pack stuff in front of it okay but that's cool we don't use it a ton you got a huge refrigerator there and a six cubic foot wow and then this is the freezer see that's why i keep a um one of those uh freezer refrigerators in my car because you can freeze your meals and then as you go like at night i pull it out and i put it you know in my yes. camper and by morning it thaws out and i throw it in the crock pot and yeah go on about my business have a I, good meal cooked this for is me the first trip i've done a lot of meal prep but i had stuff pre-made right run out of that now but um, the maple and the modern have this um, etched interior. The oak is solid wood. It doesn't right. have the, the other. What kind of lining do you have in there as far as the... I don't know. It's kind of a foamy. Oh, okay. Soft. The whole thing is... Well, at least it's not right. Well, that's pretty nice. It's kind it of like... Almost easily. like a vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Does your uh, table back there turn into a bed? Yes, it does, and it's the lagoon. And when when we got this oh one, yeah okay when we got this one, they did not install it. So right. the hardware on the bottom of the table, we bought the table, and Kevin installed that. That's what I have in my camper. It's, I like the way it turns all over the place and everything. And I like that it, there's no hole in the floor. Right. Because it's modern, but you can only get it with the U-shaped dinette. The one if you okay. get the, just the straight dinette. They don't have anything to mount this to, I guess. But they do it now. It's an option. And then, yeah, I put a backing on mine so because mine went straight into the fiberglass, so I put a backing on it to give it more support. But that that's where I do all my computer work and everything. Yeah. But yeah, that's nice. And there's three battle born batteries under the bench there. Um, okay. He he installed two of them. He got them at Black Black Friday sale. They're, they're a big name brand battery, Battleborn. Yes. I, I've heard of one of the best, so. We've been he, real happy. He did good by that. We haven't done much wound knocking yet. We plan to at some point. Oh, you. Yeah. This is a well, you got a <laughs> pretty nice light came on there. That's nice. How tall is he? Can he completely so stand I, up? This one he can. When we had the casita, he didn't. He couldn't. There was one spot where he could stand upright, but um, he can stand. I like that little toilet paper no roller. I guess that's what it is, right yeah, it there. Yeah, right? it keeps it dry when you take a shower. It doesn't. It doesn't bother the door as far as taking a shower. It doesn't. No, nothing. we've got a. Oh, okay. A I got you. Got a lot of camera space. You got a fan. And then you got the AC unit. You can't really see how deep these are, but I have like I have this tote. Oh, that's a pretty whole cool. Set back there. Did you install that? Did, it has shelves in it. Did y'all put no, that they in? Came. You can pick. Okay. What you want? Um, okay. But I, I wanted the shelving. Uh oh. Can you, can you get it? Yep. Let but me I go. Have another tote behind there. There's okay, so you got. Space. Oh, you got shelves down there too. These are just little cupboards. Okay. Um, over the wheel wells, I guess. So they're shallow. And these are shallow. I've got pots and pans here and, and frying pans in this one. Nothing wrong with that. And you got two drawers. Yeah. I only got one drawer. <laughs> yep, we have. Yeah. Stuff in there. I really do like the color of this camper. I really. I, I like. I like it. Browns. Let me check out back here. And Man, you got the, all kind of cameras. Okay. So you can tell how much you've got used up. Okay. You, have left. you got all kind of cabinet space. Yes, there's a lot. 
The one over there is the grandkid that's got all their toys and books and stuff in there. <laughs> and you got lights over there. You know, notice something I'm noticing here. You don't have a TV. We don't watch TV. Even at home, oh, we don't, really? We don't watch TV. No. no football, huh? No. No, we don't. Oh, I didn't even see that coffee maker over there. Is that your thermos that'll keep coffee warm for two days? No, actually, we we have an actual thermos and then, oh, it's in the back because I emptied it. And it'll um, actually keep morning, coffee warm. But it's an insulated pitcher. Right. Yeah, and it'll keep it warm. And okay. then we have Oh, wow. Under each of these. They like, used up all the space, didn't they? Yeah, we keep chairs and the rug going here. And then this one Kevin caught. This one was didn't open. And we have... The suitcase solar solar panel and a table in here. Okay, so not, in other words, it goes straight down. Straight down. Actually, it opens with this. There, It's open underneath. Wow. And he, he put this in just to hold the stabilizer. Handle, okay, Jack. cool. And then you have an option of having this like it is or a hanging closet here. Okay. But we, we opted for this. There's a big cabinet here, and I think you can get an access to this from the outside. We didn't want any more holes in it. Okay. What's that thing right above that cabinet? What's that white thing? What's that? It's a Eva Dry. It's to absorb moisture. Oh, okay. And then it's just plugged in so it dries the beach. Okay, I got you. And then this is our hanging closet. Wow. Go ahead. You definitely got some room in this camper. Yeah. And then uh, most of our clothes are in those things above the bed. And then there's space beside the bed, which makes it easier to make. But it's a queen size bed. Oh, and wow. He put, he put Reflectix over the vent in the cold weather. To keep yeah, I do the same thing in my yeah. camper. I close all my windows off. But yeah. yeah, it's really nice. I like these windows. They have shades on them. Yes. Uh, let me show you what this is. Oh, wow. Yep. They all have this kind of shade. So it works, works very That's well. That's really nice. Yeah. And you got a fan above the stove and everything? Yes, it's rather loud, but yeah. Oh, well, that ain't bad. It could be a lot worse than that. At yeah. least you got one, but anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, I appreciate you giving me a tour of your escape. I bet y'all are, but um, yeah. I'll see you down the road, I reckon. I hope so. Thank you so much. You're welcome.